Komalemo, thank you so much for that question. This is one of those proofs that you guys seem to struggle with quite a lot. So I'm going to try and get through this as simply as possible so you understand how to prove this theorem. Let's take a look at the question. It says, in triangle ABC, D is a point on AB and E is a point on AC such that DE is parallel to BC. So we have this triangle ABC and we have points D and E so that ED is parallel to BC. It says prove the theorem that states that AD over DB, AD over DB is equal to AE over EC. So basically prove the theorem that says if there is a line drawn parallel to one side of a triangle, it divides the other two sides proportionally. Okay, so the first thing that you want to remember with this question, guys, is you're going to be working with areas of triangles because you're trying to get lengths. So if you work with areas, you can use the lengths as baselines for those areas. Because remember, the area of a triangle is equal to half the base times the perpendicular height. So we need to make constructions on this diagram. Firstly, we need to say, draw one. Height one from E to AD. So basically, we are drawing the perpendicular height from E over here to AD, which will sit about there. Secondly, we need to draw H2 from D to line AE. Okay, so that's this perpendicular height over here from D to AE. And these are the perpendicular heights. So we know that's perpendicular there, it's perpendicular there. This is H1 and this is H2. The last thing we need to draw is DC and EB because we need to be working with triangles. You need to remember how this works, okay? So we're connecting these two lines here and these two lines here. Now, remember, when you have instances of heights of triangles, you have two different kinds. You have a triangle that will have the perpendicular height inside the triangle, okay? But then sometimes you'll get weird looking triangles that look like this, but they still need to have a perpendicular height drawn from a vertex. So the height will land on one of the sides extended, okay? So the height will end up being outside the triangle. We're gonna deal with both cases of this, okay? So let's look on our diagram here. We've got triangle ADE up at the top here. So let's write out the area of triangle ADE. Area, triangle ADE, that is meant to be a big A over there. Triangle ADE is equal to half of its base, so over here, I'm going to be working with height one first. So half of its base will be AD, multiplied by its perpendicular height, because ADE is over here. Okay, so its base is AD and its perpendicular height is H1. Okay, now let's look at another triangle that might involve this height one. Okay, well, we've got triangle EDB over here. And this is going to follow this case over here where we've got this weird triangle sitting here and its perpendicular height is H1. Okay, so if we take the area of EDB, area of triangle EDB is equal to half its base, which is BD, multiplied by H1. Okay, so that is going to give us our two lengths that we're looking for. Remember, we're trying to prove that AD over DB We've got those two lengths over here. So now let's look at the areas that involve height two. Area of triangle, we're still working with that angle or that triangle right at the top there, this triangle ADE. But if we take AE as its base, we can see that its perpendicular height is H2, okay? So we can say equals half AE, swapping out its base, multiplied by height two. Okay, 
The second triangle that we can work with that involves height 2 is triangle CED. Let's look at this triangle here. We've got triangle CED over here and its height would be this height H2 over there because it's that weird instance up here where the height falls outside of the triangle. Okay, so if we write that out we get area of triangle CDE is equal to half its base which is CE multiplied by H2. So now if we get these ratios, if we put them over each other, the area of triangle ADE over the area of triangle EDB, we're going to get that the halves will divide into each other and so will H1 and H1. So we get it simplified to a ratio of AD over BD. Similarly, if we take the area of triangle ADE over the area of triangle CDE, we get a half AE multiplied by H2 over a half CE multiplied by H2. So the halves will divide into each other, so will the heights, and we will get a ratio of AE over CE. Okay, so these are the ratios that we're trying to prove. We're trying to prove that AD over DB over here, AD over DB is equal to AE over CE. So now we've established these two ratios. How do we prove that they are equal? Well, remember, the top or the numerator that we used, area ADE, they were the same in both instances. So area of triangle ADE is common. You can say but or equal. And if we look over here at these two triangles, okay, so if we highlight these two triangles over here, we get these two bottom ones that we're working with, CDE and triangle EBD, if we look at them specifically, their perpendicular height is going to be exactly the same because these lines here are parallel. That means that the distance between the two, the perpendicular distance, is going to be equal. Also, if we take ED as their baseline, do you see that both of these triangles have the same baseline of ED? Multiplied by the same perpendicular height, is going to give us the same area, okay? Hopefully you guys understand that. So area of triangle CDE is equal to the area of triangle CDB or EDB. Let me double check, it's EDB. Why? Because they have an equal perpendicular height and same baseline. So now, because these areas, the top, the numerator areas in these two ratios, we have these two areas being common because it's the same triangle. And now we've isolated that the area of CDE is equal to the area of EDB, which has to mean that these two ratios are equal to each other. Because if we have equal numerators and equal denominators, it means that the ratios are the same. So we can finally conclude Therefore, AB over BD, let me double check that's the right thing, AD over BD, AD over BD is equal to AE over CE. And that is how you prove that this line drawn parallel to one side of the triangle divides the other two sides in proportion to each other.